see, camera one, camera two, we got lighting, we got audio. Uh, let's go to three things stopping you. How's that look on there? All right, it's good enough. Let's have a go at it. Hey everybody, welcome to Find A Way TV. This is David Kesey. Today we're gonna to be talking about three things that could be stopping you and how you dig into those three things so that you can have a breakthrough. Stay tuned, sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Find A Way TV. We can be all that much better and better. Do you know somebody who has a lot of talent but doesn't do anything with it? This ability to influence, 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 make that happen. What is possible for you is endless. What is stopping you is just an illusion. Okay, look, let's be honest. You've got the talent. You know you got the talent. That's why, you're, that's why you even clicked on this video. You've got the talent to do amazing things. You've got the resources, you got everything you need, but for some reason, something seems to be stopping you. What is that? You know, I've had so many times in my life where I, I knew I was capable of doing these amazing things, but something just seemed to get in the way. And I could never figure out what it was. And so I started to interrogate all different areas of my life, right? I would start looking at my relationships. I would start looking at my business. I would start looking at, um, I would start looking at you know, my skills. I would start looking at all these things and over years and years and years and coaching 2,000 people and training over 15,000 I've discovered that it comes down to three things that I want to share with you right now And here's the thing if you don't have these three things dialed in if you're not managing these three things Then it becomes really difficult to move forward. You know, it's so interesting uh, I think it was Earl Nightingale that said, you know being successful is like standing in a hammock on one leg while trying to juggle 12 eggs and I found that to be true, right? I focus on this area of my life and all of a sudden, whoops, this one falls out. And then I focus on that area and then whoops, that one falls out. It's this constant maintenance of all the areas of our life. Because I gotta be honest, I don't believe going all in on one area of your life is gonna help you achieve at a higher level. You know, there's this difference between a player and a champion. A player just kind of goes in and does one role. They go in and that's all they do. They just kind of over and over and over. That's your employees, right? That's your, um, those are people that work for you. And if you're watching this video, you're most likely a business owner and you're wanting to control your own destiny and kind of call the own shot, your own shots yourself. And so that, that, that's kind of a player where the champion, which is you, right, watching this video, the champion is somebody who plays at a higher level in all areas areas of their life. So what are the three things? Like what, what, can you, what should you be interrogating? And then how do you get past it? Well, the first thing that stops most people is actually their philosophy. I don't even know how to spell that. Philosophy, right? Or you could even call that psychology. You could call that mindset. You can call it mental toughness. You can call it whatever you want. But if what is going on up here isn't functioning at a high level, if it's not powerful up here, it is really hard to perform. You could have all the tools, all the talent, all the resources. And if this philosophy, how you approach things, your attitude, the way you see things isn't powerful, it's going to be tough. So here's what I want you to, I want you to look at. In your life right now, across all areas of your life, you know, your fitness, across your health, the, your wealth, your your love, your happiness, your relationships. Are you playing the victim or are you the victor? Right? Are you are you coming from a powerful state? Like a, like somebody who like a champion would do, like a winner would do? Are you coming from a are you looking at it like, you know what? I can handle this. I got this. I don't care what it is. You know, I've been talking about with my coaching clients who are actually watching this video right now. I'm doing this live for them right now. I've, I've been talking with them about this idea of a relentless reality. Having a relentless reality, reality, knowing that I've set these goals for myself and I don't care what comes up. I am powerful to take on whatever it is to get past any barriers or through any barriers to go make it happen. You know, I need to make a sale. I'm relentless. I need to, I need to hit my goal of a certain income. I'm relentless. I have this relentless mentality of whatever comes up. I'm like, that's okay. It's perfect. I'm going to do it. Right? Like I'll give you an example. Say something, say you set a goal for yourself. You know, I'm, I'm going to prospect every day this week or I'm going to do my lead generation. I'm going to do my videos every single day. And then the minutia comes up. You know, I'm talking about the distractions come up or somebody says, well, you know, you don't have time to do that because of da, 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 da. And your mind, instead of going, oh, come, how come I don't have time? I never have time. Your mind goes, that's perfect because it's going to allow me to be more efficient with my videos, which is what I need. I need that high pressure so that I perform at a high level. So that's perfect. I don't need hours. I only need minutes to make this happen. 
right? Like that relentless, I'm going to make it happen. So in your philosophy, like what is your philosophy? Go through all the areas of your life with your relationship. Go through, uh, you know, with your profession, with, with all the things that you're doing, with your business. And look at how am I looking at this? Am I looking at this in a frame or a context that I am powerful and, you know, the world is conspiring for me to hit my goals? Or am I looking at it like, poor me, I, don't, I can't do it because of whatever. The world is conspiring against me. Life is happening to me. Let me tell you something, my friend. Life is not happening to you. It's happening for you. All you got to do is acknowledge it. So that's the first thing that stops people. If you can get past that, if you can change in the moment, here's what's beautiful. In the moment, you can change and look at it however you want. So you can see the same situation two different ways. One empowers you and one makes you feel like crap. If you're feeling like crap, you're not gonna you're not gonna play at a high level, right? You look good, feel good, play good. Look at it in a way that empowers you, that excites you. Like, what can I get excited about with this situation? And I guarantee you're gonna move forward. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing, let's face it, you gotta have the right strategy, right? So you, you gotta look at it a certain way that empowers you. But look, if you're heading east looking for a sunset, you're gonna be going for a really long time, right? So having the right strategy matters. If you're not relevant, and that'd be really the word that I would write down if, if you're watching this video, is is my strategy relevant? Right? I see so many people still prospecting and cold calling, calling home phones. I don't know about you, but I don't even have a home phone. All I have is my cell phone. That's all I've got. My whole life is on that. The internet's on that. Right? My, I take videos on that. I take notes on that. My calendar's in there. If you get a whole, if you get my cell phone, you can text me, you can call me, you can email me, you can send me a video. That's more relevant. That strategy is going to be more relevant. Right? If, if in your business, if you're not texting customers, and you know, trying to convert leads through texting, you are missing the boat. And if you are still doing old school strategies that aren't effective, you know, it's so interesting. I see two groups of business owners right now. I see the business owner who is going through uh, their business and try, like, this used to work for me. Why the hell isn't it working anymore? Well, because the world changed. The economy changed. How we do business changed. And you didn't change with it. And there's two things you could do, right? Because the other business owner adapts. Let me tell you something. I heard something. I read, actually read it. I read something really smart the other day that basically said, it's not the strongest or the most talented that survive. It's not the strongest or the most talented that survive. It's the most adaptive to change. How fast do you adapt? How, how fast? But in today's business world, Speed is everything. How fast you execute. How fast does your content get into the market? When you make a video, does it take you weeks to put it out there or can you bam and it's out there? Like this video, I'm gonna do this video and in about an hour, I'm gonna send it through my team and they're gonna, they're gonna distribute it everywhere. It's gonna be on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Like it's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel. It's gonna be turned into a blog. It's gonna have all this stuff that just out into the marketplace. How fast? Do you execute and is your strategy relevant so that the consumer goes, whoa, I need to be hanging out with this person, right? So number three, you can have an amazing philosophy, you can have an amazing strategy, but the last thing that might be stopping you is you just don't have the skills. You just don't have the skills. And as a result, you end up working a lot harder. And when you work a lot harder, you get a lot more rejection and you, then the mind, then this starts to go, right? Like, let's face it, skills increases your attitude. It, it improves your mindset and your mindset allows you to use your skills. So if you don't have skills, like what skills do you need to develop? And n n we're talking business here, but what about your relationship? Do you need like listening skills? Do you need to be better at uh, understanding? Maybe you need to get the skill of understanding first, the, the skill of responding rather than reacting. Maybe in your business, you gotta get the, the skill of persuasion. Do you know how to persuade people and influence people to go with you versus the competition? Maybe you need marketing skills. Maybe you need the skill of doing a video like I'm doing right now where you can just flip on the camera and provide value to the marketplace. What is it for you? Analyze these three things. Guaranteed, if you feel like you're stuck or you're not, you're not breaking through, you're not having that breakthrough, I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go into all areas of your life. Now I say all areas of your life because your business might be suffering because of your relationship. Now that's not to blame them, it's because of how you're handling the relationship. Your business might be suffering because you're just not staying physically fit. You don't have any energy. So four o'clock comes and you're like, eh, what is it? 
Go through all areas of your life, over health, wealth, love, happiness. Go through all those things and say, what is my philosophy and is it possible that the way I look at this causes me not to perform at a high level? Go through all areas of your life and say, what's the strategy I'm using right now? Is it relevant? Is it relevant and is it working? And how fast do I execute? And then go to my skills and say, are there any skills in any areas of my life that I need to get? Is it consistency? I know for a lot of people around fitness and physiology, it's the idea of getting up every single morning. I just did a video on this. Um, you guys better have saw that video. The video I did on how do you get up early and, and crush it every single morning, that's a skill that you need to have. So look, I hope that these three, I hope this video served you. I hope this kind of turned on the light in some areas, make you think, well, wait a minute, yeah, I can go back and hopefully some of these things that I've said trigger something. Or you know what would be even better? Maybe it wasn't something that I said here, maybe it was something that I said that triggered an idea for you of something I didn't even say. Those are my favorite breakthroughs. Look, either way, I hope you enjoy this video, this, uh, this video, this edition of Find A Way TV. Look, go out there every single day and find a way to win. You can do this.